Now we're going to do one of our new features with him. It's called WikiLeaks or Wiki Lies. Um, so ultimately, we throw things that we have discovered. Our excellent team of researchers have been um, really delving into your history and your present and getting some things out that might be true, might be false. And all you've got to do is tell us which one it is. Um, and if you don't want to tell us at all, just say it's false. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. First up for you, Todd. Uh, your idol growing up was Justin Bieber. You had a poster of him on your bedroom wall and used to listen to Sorry on repeat. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> that's Even not true. This, well, I was <laughs> going to say, Todd, that was your, that's, let's just let you know, that's your ideal opportunity, even if it is true, just to lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I promise you, I promise you. The thing is, yeah, if it was true, I would own that, but I promise you that's not true. Definitely that's not. That's not true. No. Is, it, is it actually true that um, Dennis Burkham was one of your idols? Yeah, that is true. There we go. That really similar. <laughs> did you, read, did, you read his autobiography, didn't you? I did, yeah, I did, yeah. It was um, one of the first books I read, actually. <laughs> tell, tell us what you learnt from that, um, because I'm reading that there's certain things about the way that he played the game that you actually picked up on. Yeah, so it's, it's just it's just his intelligence. I, I think there was one quote that was, um, you don't have to dribble past a player to beat a player, which really stuck with me. Um, you know, body manipulations and... And and four, you know, uh, uh, so you don't have to to dribble. Um, if you have a quick speed in your thoughts, then you you can ultimately you know do things that people can't can't react to. Wow, like you can outthink someone. Darren Bent is a massive Arsenal fan, and you're nodding your head there because yeah. he's one of your heroes as well, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, Dennis Bergkamp, I love him. Absolutely, mm. what a player, one of the very best. Okay, next one. Um, you come from a big football family. Both your mum and your dad and your nan and granddad are footballers. False. False. Mm. So, so my, 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 my granddad was, I don't think my nan ever kicked the football. Um, I, to be fair, you've actually caught me out here. If she played football, I'm going to get, a, I'm going to get hit on the wrist when I see her. Um, I don't think she played football, but nah, heav heavily football family. Yeah. Every, everyone's been involved with it. Please call her in the next break and just get clarification on it. Cause the boys <laughs> are convinced, they're convinced his nan played football. Look, where have you got that? Are they, are they, are they all Norwich fans? Um, no. A couple of fans in there? No, no, no. There's no Ipswich in there. I promise you that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my, my two grandparents are heavily Norwich. Uh, my mum is as well, but my, my dad's elsewhere. Is he? Where? He supports Arsenal, my dad. What a guy. What a guy. What a guy. Um, okay, here's the next one. While playing against Spurs as a youth player, you sealed a hat-trick by getting on your knees and flicking the ball over the line with your head. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> true, yeah. <laughs> what happened there? So I had been... Um, I'd been, I'd had my review in my academy years, um, and they had said I don't header enough and I don't, I don't um, <laughs> score enough headed goals. So uh, cheekily enough, uh, I was enjoying myself in one game, and I remember just going past a goalkeeper and thought this is a perfect opportunity to tally a, a headed goal, and it didn't go down too well. I'll be honest. It didn't. <laughs> nah. So the academy manager, the academy manager at the time, um, called me over and said, I, you know, don't ever be disrespectful to your opponents and. You know, you're, you're playing well in that, but, you know, you're taking it too far with that. My other coach absolutely loved it. My other coach absolutely <laughs> loved it. Would he you said, like this, this, this is why you're going to the top. That's what he said to me. Would you have liked that, Ali? I'd love to have done it. I'd hate it if it had done against me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love, oh, I'd love to have done it against Celtic, man. But, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been tremendous. Having said that, there would have been 20,000 Celtic supporters with a run on and volleyed my nuts <laughs> right off the line. But oh, I, I think it would have been brilliant to do, but horrible to have it done to you. Was it even better, Todd, that it was against Spurs? <laughs> no, to be, to be fair, in my defence, I was only 12. I can't believe you were only 12 when you thought to do yeah, that. No. <laughs> That's amazing, Jerry. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Um, so this was when you were on loan at Fortuna Sittard in the Netherlands back in 2018. You spent your spare time building a collection of traditional Dutch clogs. No, that's not true. Definitely not true. No, even <laughs> that's not true. I'm being set up. Here. That's not true. I promise you. Dutch I clogs. promise you they're not. On, can I just tell you, when I first read this, I thought it said Dutch dogs. And I was okay. like, wow. And I was trying to actually think of a Dutch dog and I was thinking a small collection. What is your dog? Because we just saw it in the back of shot. Yeah, yeah. No, it's an English Bull Terrier. Um, I had one as a, 
when I was at my family home with obviously with with my mum and dad and yeah it was the only dog I was ever going to get when I mm. when I had my own place very cute and um, what the true part of that last statement was um, was that you actually did go on loan um, back in 2018 to Fortuna Sittard so how old would you have been when you went I was 19 19 yeah what was that like um it was incredible it was absolutely incredible uh I was nervous going out there I had um a lot of loan options in England and when it came in and I went out I flew out before I signed anything I flew out and you know met the owner met the manager and and watched the game actually and you know even I think the team um that 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 Sittard were playing against when I flew out were, were bottom of the league and they were playing out from the back um you know they they were playing proper football as I would say and it just seemed like the right fit. It seemed like a, you know, a home away from home as such. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's put me in the position I'm in now. So I'm forever thankful for that. Yeah, I bet. Okay, here you go. One final one for you. You and your siblings were extremely competitive as kids. And you even managed to injure one of your brothers or your brother in the kitchen and the paramedics were called. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So me and my brother are heavily competitive. We always, 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 everything we did together, it would be a challenge. It would be who won. There would have to be goals set up somewhere. There would, you know, it's <laughs> mum and dad's worst nightmare, I think. Because we were playing in the kitchen and we're on tiles, so it was never going to end well. Um, but I remember uh, doing a bit of a heavy tackle, which I'm not known for, and him falling over and hitting his head. And yeah, my heart sank, to be honest. Oh, how much, what, what happened to him? So he completely blacked out, actually. He oh wasn't, he wasn't that old oh. himself. So that was, that was quite worrying. But he, he turned out to be absolutely fine. So, I mean, yeah. He, he was absolutely fine after, but he, he had about 20 seconds where he blacked out. So my heart was literally in my throat at that point. Oh, my God. Mm. Ali, how many boys have you got? Five. Five? Ever had any incidents? I'm keeping them away for him. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, my we've, we've, got, we've got incidents on a daily, a daily basis. <laughs> Honestly, that's the one thing you're guaranteed when you've got boys. <laughs> you get it with girls as well. I've got two bigger brothers and um, my oldest brother, Paul, had his fingers in the door Ooh. and uh, when I, and oh, I honestly horrible. I must have I was only about three at the time oh. and I slammed the door and, and chopped his fingers in it oh. it was just it was so and the bad sounds were, oh. I know and then a few weeks later bless him he was only about six a few weeks later he did it in the car door as well bless him and that wasn't oh. me was that you that, as well? no genuinely yeah I was like have a bit of this it didn't work the first <laughs> time so anyway uh, Todd thank you very much for being so honest with us there make sure you text oh, your nan and find out whether or not she does play football Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.